What's going on, everybody? This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Listen, I am so excited about tonight's midweek manner. We've got something special for you. Most of you probably uh, don't remember or may not have even been a part of Bethel back years ago. We did a recording under Maestro Omar Dickinson in tribute and honor to the longest tenured pastor of the Bethel Church, 48 years, Bishop Rudolph W. McKissick Sr. And it was entitled From Then to Now. And we took everybody on a recording musical journey to share and show all of the genres of music that Bethel did during the worship ex experience throughout the history of this great historical church. Tonight, we're going to show it to you tonight on Midweek Manor. It's going to be phenomenal. Call everybody because the musical genius and excellence you're going to hear tonight is unmatched by any church as far as I'm concerned. From then to now, closing out Black History Month. This is the way to do it. By the way, I still need y'all to give tonight. Go so. And Sunday, have everybody in your family tuned in for this sermon. It is the most provocative and in your face sermon I have ever preached. Your children need to hear this sermon. Your family needs to hear this sermon. If you're single, you need this sermon. Sunday morning, 10 a.m., but for tonight, from then to now, tune in for the whole thing. It's about to be amazing. Call somebody, tag somebody, text somebody, tell somebody. I'm excited. Now, it was years ago, so the camera quality won't be popping like we have today because this was uh, in another generation of technology. But the excellence is still the same. Get ready to be blessed tonight from then to now. We honoring you, Dad. Peace. Gotta sing this one. Gotta sing it with feeling. You gotta sing it with heart.
Well, it was over 50 years ago that I sat in a young adult choir, someone standing behind me. And there they were singing this anthem that I had learned in a high school glee club. But evidently God had planted that seed of memory to that anthem in my heart and in my mind. And so a number of decades after that, I'm sitting there in this young adult choir, not even preaching, not even thinking about preaching. In fact, I was still whatever, whatever. <laughs> but then, I was back there just directing in Flamatus, and the director said, he knows it. And I said, no what? <laughs> and they said, you come up here and direct in Flamatus. I had just enough nerve to come up and direct in Flamatus. And God has revealed to me in the latter years that that's where my leadership began. Because if I had enough nerve to stand before people and musicians with my ignorant self about music <laughs> and direct such a deep anthem such as Implamatus, then God was saying to me, you haven't seen anything yet. So it's Implamatus that started me on my way.
I've tried to say something about Inflamatus from the church perspective and how it also affected me in my pastoring. But as I think about these, we're talking about anthems. And some people say, why anthems? Well, if you like the word of God, that's what an anthem is. Anthem comes out of the word of God. It is expressed in that magnificent way. And so anthems will not die. And one thing about it, thank God we can do it from A to Z. I wish I had a rhythm. Now, I said some of those were here with me when I started out with Inflamatus, but there's some sitting out there, not all young people out here, a lot of others out here, know that in high school during the, during the period of segregation, you had a glee club. And you learned some of these songs that I'm talking about. And it was in high school that I learned Old Divine Redeemer. And then later on, after I got saved, I knew who my Redeemer lived in. I, I knew that. But then I was singing it, now I live it. Old Divine Redeemer.
Let me come, come from way back yonder. Those were song hymns, or not anthems rather, that were out in the 40s and 30s, 50s. Then in the 60s, conventions began to be become creative and being anthemish. And so they came forth with some great songs like magnify the Lord and let Mount Zion rejoice.
Well, from then until now, one of the things about this church, I grew up in this church, baby, baptized, trained in every measure. But the one thing, I never attended a worship service without hearing a hymn. A hymn. We want to question why hymns today. If it wasn't for Jesus keep me near the cross, I don't know what we <laughs> What a friend we have in Jesus. And so this is a category that if we're raising the name of, in fact, the only name Amen. that is given unto man whereby we might be saved. Amen. So you've got to talk about glory to that glorious name. Listen at this medley as they come forth. Amen. Amen.
don't know what the Lord's done for me. You don't know what the Lord's done for me. every I, cross every T, roll every R, but when it gets into our head, I can remember, come ye disconsolate, and I would cry off of it sometimes, just from the hymn, but then, when we got a hold of it, I start swinging from side to side. Because it's something about what we do with a hymn. Come on, give God praise.
to the mercy seat fervent fervently need oh Heaven can not be.
can do it. Jesus can do it. If you're sick in your body, Jesus can fix it. Jesus can fix it. If you know he can, wave your hand and say, Jesus. Jesus can fix it. Try everybody else and I discover can't nobody do it. Jesus can fix it. Can you help me say tonight, Jesus can fix it. When I was growing up over in the historic sanctuary, I used to always hear my father preach naturally. One of the things that he would do every now and then that many people may not know is that at the end of a sermon, he'd break out in a song. I remember things like, what a blessing in Jesus I found. There's peace and love all around. Precious joy he unfolds. He has riches untold. I remember shackled by a heavy burden neath a load of guilt and shame, but then the hand of Jesus touched me. Now I am the no, no longer the same. I even remember only what you do for Christ will last. But let me tell you the one that, that always got me, that he introduced to the Bethel Church. Since I met Jesus, there's a burning. Oh, how many of y'all remember him singing that thing? I got news for you. He can sing it again. Since I Met G. Tell him, sing, Pastor. Sing, Service that 
There, there is no way you could have a 40 year celebration without talking about all you've come through. Because 40 years is a whole lot of going through. But through it all, y'all didn't catch it. Through it all, he's trusted in Jesus. He's taken him at his word. The reason he keeps going quicker than some folk that's 40 is because through it all, he keeps his hand in the master's hand. So we couldn't have tonight without a song like Through It All. And coming to sing tonight is our own minister, Troy Sneed. Listen, I was telling the choir the other night that this is a very difficult song for me to sing without breaking down because I don't know about you, but how many of y'all been through something in your life? You know, I used to, when I was a kid, I used to hear this song, and I used to wonder why my mom used to shout when they sang this. And, I, and me and my friends, we used to pick at each other's mamas how they shout and whatnot. I never thought that I'd live to the day when I would really understand what it means to go through something. But you know what? The good news is, no matter what you're going through, y'all ain't gonna talk to me. I said, no matter what you're going through, I know it's Friday night, but can we have a little church? Can we act like this Sunday morning? How many of you have been, you've been through the storm, but you came out all right? Come on, get those hands up. Come on, I want some witnesses in here. Matter of fact, get your hands up and shake them like this. I need some witnesses in here tonight. I know you might not feel like, but I always tell you, it don't based on how you feel, but I, I don't know about you, but I'm ready to give God the praise and the worship tonight. Yeah, yeah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Y'all pray for me. I've had many tears and sorrows I've had questions for tomorrow There were times when I didn't know right from wrong Thank you Jesus But in every situation God gives me blessed consolation that my trials come to only make me strong. Whoa, whoa. I've been a lot of places. And I can see y'all tonight. And I see a lot of faces. Yet there are times when I felt so all alone. Anybody been there? Yeah. But in my long Yes, those precious long hours. Jesus let me know that I am his own. And I can tell you that through it all. Hallelujah, through it all. I stand tonight to let you know that I learned. And I've learned. Do I have a witness here tonight? It's not a shame to let the world know that you came out all right. Hallelujah. Yeah, 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 yeah. To depend upon his word. I got one more verse I want to sing. Listen. I've learned 
Trust him. Trust him. He's able. 
they're going through. One thing I learned about us, we are good fakers. We come acting like everything is just all right. Your lights are due to be cut off on Monday. But you went and got that dress, got your hair did, and got all, you know what, we are good fakers. But listen, you don't know whose hand you hold, you don't know what they're going through. But I want you to encourage somebody tonight. Y'all gonna do that for me? First thing I want you to do is put a smile on your face, come on. Now I want you to smile at that neighbor, smile at them, look at both sides of you, just give them a smile. Give them a smile, give them a smile. Give them a little squeeze in our hand, listen. Now pastor, we say from then to now, but I tell you one thing, the same love that's brought us from back 40 years ago, it's the same love that's gonna take us 40 years from now. Do I have any witnesses? Do I have any witness? Listen, I want y'all to do this. We used to do this on the I said it, said it, say. I love you. Look at him say it. I love you. I really do. I really do. I love you. I love you. I really do now. I really you do gotta mean it. Say, say love. 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 Now smile with it. Say love. Today's contemporary. I would suggest that in every age, if you're old enough, you knew that there was a change coming. It doesn't wipe out the old, but it does bring in the new. And when each can have an appreciation for the other, that's when it's a marvelous movement in Christ. So now, say from then to now, none other than 
none other than the word and worship Rudolph Waldo McKissick Jr. Give it up! Come on, put your hands together. Come on, put your hands together.
know this right here. I know you know this right here. Listen, listen. How many of y'all know that one? Receive a blessing. <laughs> He's got your breakthrough. <laughs> I believe it's your season tonight.
was one song on the first album that was off the hook. And when we did this song, I told y'all when we recorded this song, that it reminded me of a song from the first album that really was kind of prophetic that you could speak to somebody when they were going through it. It went something like this. Some way, somehow, I know the Lord will work it out. Thank you. Y'all remember that? Y'all remember that? Some way, somehow, I know the Lord will work it out. Thank you. Come on, choir, join me now. Some way, somehow. Work it out. Say thank you. Come on. Say it again. Say it again. Some way. We'll work it out. Thank you. Come on. Well, some way. We'll work it. Can you say thank you? Come on. Clap your hands and tell somebody. Some way, somehow. I do the Lord. Over and over, some way, somehow, some way, somehow, he made a way, somehow, some way, somehow, through everything I've been through, some way, somehow, some way, somehow, some way, somehow, some way, somehow, I knew. Say thank you, because he's been so good. He's been so kind. He made a way. He opened doors for me. Can you say thank you? Can you say thank you? Can you say thank you? Now come on, band, rock us on out of here. For 40 years of incredible. Well, since this is now, since this is now, tell somebody, tell them, since it's now. No, that was the wrong name, but tell somebody, since it's now, we might as well rock it like now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put your hands together. Come on. Y'all remember this little lamp right here? If you remember, help us sing it tonight. Come on, come on. Where my ladies at? Come on. Praise. Praise. His holy name. His holy name. I need some sopranos out here to help me out. Come on. Say it again. Praise. Praise. His holy name. Where my altos in the house. Come on, join us. Pray. Pray. His holy name. Y'all look like y'all don't know how to praise him. Praise his holy name, y'all. His holy name. Come on, everybody, join us. Tell somebody we ain't through. Tell them, no, yo, no, tell them we ain't through. This little part right here is for all the party folk who have flashbacks on Friday nights. Don't act like you don't have a few flashbacks. 
we gonna change it just a little bit. How many of y'all know we got an outstanding pastor and Pastor Rudolph McKissick Sr. I can't hear you. I said, how many of y'all know we have an outstanding pastor and Rudolph McKissick Sr.? Huh? Huh? I, I feel a little thing coming here. Listen. Outstanding. Check me out. Pastor, you're the one. Exciting. <laughs> Check this out. Thanks for all you've done. Come on, choir. Come on. Outstanding. <laughs> yeah, everybody tell it. Pastor, you're the one. Pastor, you're the one. Yeah, yeah. Exciting. Exciting. Thanks for all you've done. Come on, tell him thanks. Thanks for all you've done. I gotta hear y'all. Y'all know it. Come on. Outstanding. Pastor, you're the one. Pastor, you're the one. Yeah. Do -do 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 -do. Exciting. Exciting. Thanks for all you've done. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for all you've done. Come on, one more time to the top of your voice. Outstanding. Outstanding. Pastor, you're the one. Pastor, you're the one. You're exciting. Exciting. Thanks for all you've done. Thanks for all you've done. Put your hands together for Pastor Rudolph McKissick.